This is a Hong Chi sedan. The word Hong Chi stands for red flag. One of the hallmarks of Maoist China, these red flag limousines once plied the streets of Beijing, chauffeuring only the very rich or top government officials. Today, the older models of these clunky automotive behemoths look like throwbacks to another age. To track the upheavals of the fascinating automobile industry of China, it's a must to stop by the city of Changchun, where China's first automotive works originated. This city is the provincial capital of Jilin province, which is a traditional agriculture belt, famous for its bountiful harvests of corn. Changchun literally means a long period of spring. Changchun, however, is more famous for its automobile industry. More than any other Chinese city, Changchun's fate is closely tied to its automobile industry. Some 70% of the city's industrial output is tied to this industry. Changchun is aptly known as the Detroit of China. First Automotive Works, or FAW Group, is the backbone of Changchun's automobile industry. It's also China's largest automobile manufacturer. Three years after it was founded with the help of the Soviet Union in 1956, the company rolled out its first product, the truck branded as Jiafang, or Liberation. The Jiafeng truck was also the first vehicle made entirely in China and proved China could make its own vehicles. Soon FAW expanded into passenger cars and the Hongqi, used exclusively as the sedan for the country's leaders, became the flagship model. With the prestige accorded to it, the Hongqi was the pride of FAW and FAW the pride of China. Under the central planning economic system, the city was designated as the key automobile production base. The Hongqi brand heralded Changchun's status as China's automobile city. Changchun's 除了仪器呢，这个自己内部的啊，这个汽车汽研所之外呢，现在就是说从事汽车研究的这方面的啊，这个机构按照分类是吧？你比如汽车电子方面呢，啊，汽车这个按照系统啊，各个企业也都非常
FAW hopes to learn from its German partner's technology and apply that to its own products. The plan was to have a two-prong growth strategy. First AutoWorks Volkswagen, the joint venture, and FAW's in-house brands. After the joint venture was inked, there was a large influx of German technical experts in Changchun to help FAW develop the Volkswagen's joint venture models. 50-year-old Gloria is the general manager of a hotel in Changchun. With more than 30 years of hotel industry experience, she'd worked in Shanghai and Manila. For the past 10 years, she's witnessed the development of Changchun's automobile industry. Most of our guests here at Swiss Bell Hotel Changchun are mostly uh, Germans and they are engineers working for FAW, Volkswagen and Audi. They are here, as you know, uh, Changchun is not a tourist uh, city, mm. but uh, it is a place where peop people, expatriates would come here mm. to work for the automobile industry. And they usually stay here in the hotel for a year or more than two years, working in the research and development of the car. Changchun is one of the two most important Volkswagen production bases in China. The Volkswagen cars have gradually replaced the Hongqi as the backbone of FAW Group by contributing about 70% of the group's profits. For a long time, the Volkswagen joint venture was a success. Their car models were the first choice for many. However, their designs like Jetta and Golf did not keep up with the times. Their prices were also generally higher than the new local competitors like Geely and Cherry which is selling catchier designs at lower prices. As more new homegrown brands and foreign brands entered the market, the Chinese customers now had more choices. Volkswagen cars were no longer their first choice. In 2005, China's passenger car market grew 20%. In contrast, sales of Volkswagen's joint venture declined. A trip to one of the bigger car markets in Beijing will reflect the changing needs of car buyers today. Hong 一汽就捷达还行，宝来就还凑合吧，是红旗你看这不摆在这儿也不走，也不行，可能就油耗大的原因。With Volkswagen's joint venture stumbling, FAW was caught in a spot. Its Hongqi brand was by then also too weak to support the entire company. When Volkswagen's joint venture was doing well, FAW had little motivation to develop its own house brand. It was thought to be too costly and risky. Both of FAW's engines are sputtering. It's become a victim of its own successful joint venture. With FAW's fortune so closely tied to Changchun, the city's leadership position in China's car industry is being challenged. The alarm for the city rang loud and clear.